Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial on how to download Stoneblock on your computer. Now, Stoneblock, if you're aware of, of my uh, YouTube series, I actually play Stoneblock. It's a modded pack, a modded Minecraft pack. It's kind of cool. It has about 244 mods, if I'm not wrong. And at the moment, I'm doing a Stoneblock series. So if you came from there, it makes sense. Or if you just search and learn how to download it, then you came to the right video. Because today, I'll be discussing on how you can download Stoneblock pretty quickly and simply. So uh, let's get right into the video. So if you know if you know how to download Stoneblock already, and if you want to check if it, if it works, this is how you check. If you load your screen, if you load the game, if this pops up, then you know you've got Stoneblock. If you don't have Stoneblock there, then you clearly don't. So um, let's move on to the actual tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys there. So to start off the actual um, tutorial, you're going to have to go on your browser. For me, I'm using Google Chrome because I feel like it's one of the best. Of course, it eats your RAM, but if you have a lot of RAM like myself, then it shouldn't be a problem. First, you want to download Twitch app. So you want to type in Twitch app on Google and you would be, uh, click on this HTTPS app, uh, twitch.tv. Links are on the description below. Of course, it doesn't take much effort to type this in anyway. Once you're in this page, you're going to want to click on Twitch desktop app right here. You're going to click on download. And once you download, you will get a download right here. I already have a download, but I'm still going to do it because it, the good thing about this is that even if you have a little download, it just downloads it again. Here we are. This is the actual Twitch app. If you can see, it's kind of laggy because I have one a server open to my actual Minecraft open. And it's quite a lot. I only have 16 GB RAM anyway. Okay, so here we are, and um, this is the Twitch app. At the beginning, you'll see something like this, but it might not necessarily say, welcome back, keep playing, because keep playing is myself. Um, so what you can do is, first, you have to, uh, at first, you're obviously logged off. So what you're going to have to do is actually just log in. So after you log in, you're here. What you want to do is go to mods. Now, you might not have Minecraft here in games. As a matter of fact, I don't. So I went to mods and Minecraft is, if you have Minecraft installed, keep in mind you do need to have Minecraft bot in order for this to work. If you have Minecraft bot, this shouldn't be a problem. It should be right here. And once you click on it, you should have nothing here, but I have Stoneblock installed already. That's why it's there. You should have nothing. But if you want to install mods, you can just go to bra uh, browse all mod packs. And from here, you could search up whatever mods you want. So right off the bat, you have Sevtech. Um, FTP Sky Adventures, all the mods, a lot of mods here. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of mods. And this is one of the best ways to install mods rather than just downloading Forge and then uploading the mods manually because it takes more time. This is pretty, pretty fast. And all you need to do is to click one button, click install and it works. For me, I already have Stoneblock installed. So all I have to do is click on install. And then what happened is... Um, I would get redirected to this page and then I would click on install, but I already have it installed. If I install it again, the whole thing is going to install again. It'll take a long time. But keep in mind that you do need to keep this into consideration. You need 5 to 6 GB of RAM allocated to the pack because this pack has 244 mods or so. And it's very heavy on RAM because it has to run and has to render everything that's going on. So it does take a lot of your RAM. If you only have 8 GB of RAM, keep in mind that you can still play the game. But you have to have to allocate at least five to six GB of RAM to the actual game. So if you're willing to record, if you wish to record, I, you probably should record in low settings. Or if your OBS can record without using um, two gigabytes of RAM, then that's perfect. Because mine doesn't. Mine takes basically it doesn't even take one gigabyte of RAM to record. As a matter of fact, it takes more CPU power than it takes of RAM, which is which makes sense because that's where recording is. If you wish to make a server, that is a separate video which I will make. But this is how you do it. This is all you do. Just click on install and after it's installed, it will take some time. And once you're there, you click on play and you'll get into this launcher. This is not the same launcher as your normal Minecraft launcher. My normal Minecraft launcher is right here. They're not the same. If you try to open Stoneblock from your normal Minecraft launcher, it won't work because Stoneblock is not installed in that directory. As a matter of fact, it's installed in curse directory, which is specific to the Twitch app. So that's how it will work. It won't work if you click on your normal Minecraft. That's why if you want to play, you have to click on, uh, you have to open Twitch app first and then click on play and then click play from here. And then once it's uh, loaded up, it'll bring to this page. And then from here, you can obviously just click on single player or if you want to create a single player mode or click on multiplayer and you will have a default server, which is the public server. But if you wish to join mine, this is the link right here, kpblock.us.2. Absolutely free. 100 people can join. I can join because I own it. And this is where uh, all my fun happens. Oh, my, uh, my modded series. So if I join the server, the game will work perfectly fine. I don't get much lag because I have quite, I have quite a powerful computer. But yet, I still have some of the video settings down because there's a lot of mods that actually demand 
more of your CPU than the actual video settings take. So let's, I changed it up a little bit just to make it easier for me. And here we are, the games here. Options, you can go on video settings, you have blah, 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 blah. Resync, I turn it off because I don't like video synchronization. I don't like it at all. It's I hate it. Any game I play, I always turn it off. At the moment, I'm getting 600, 700 uh, FPS. Um, that's because I'm recording. If I wasn't, I'd get 1,000, 2,000. That's how the, basically the game works. Also, another thing I'll mention before it is the versions. You can change the versions you want from the beginning, 1.07, all the way to the recent 1.031. At the moment, I've updated my server from 1.0.30 to 1.0.31 because it felt like um, 1.0.30 was quite a lot of lag and glitches there, but 1.0.31 is running smoothly and my, my server is running smoothly as well. So that's good, and uh, you can just literally click on it, and then you can click continue, and then you have to click on update to new profile. If you don't do that, it won't work. Update to new profile, continue, and then you have your stone block there. There you go. This applies to every other mod pack that is shown in this area. Have to be mod packs. Any mod pack you wish to play, it is available. This is basically how you download mods the simple way and the easy way. Again, guys, like I said before, any questions, don't, don't hesitate to drop down questions on my comment section below because i would love that if you need help ask me because i will provide help that's why i'm here i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did then please make sure to leave a like share comment and subscribe because that is very important i need subscribers oh yes i do